Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a Sims build and we are building in Willow Creek. I am not quite sure what I'm going to name this home yet as I have absolutely no clue at the point I'm recording this voiceover. I will tell you some fun information about this lot though. It is built in Willow Creek as you maybe already saw from the surroundings. It is actually built on the lot of that's called Bargain Bend and I'm not quite sure if there was a home on this lot before because I demolished every lot in The Sims 4 in order to build my save file, so I'm not quite sure. I think maybe there was, but I'm absolutely not sure. It is a 30 by 20 lot, and it is a very strange lot to build on because it is vertical instead of horizontal. So it kind of gets, it takes some getting used to. It means that you get like a very long backyard, at least in my mind it, it was. And this home comes as a total price of 96,962 simoleons. Which, to be fair, is not that much. I mean, if you compare it to my other builds that are usually over the 200k simoleons. But it is absolutely not a starter home, don't get me wrong. I also used almost all the packs. I don't think I used the Star Wars pack, but I used every other pack in existence. So, um,. I'm not going to name them because, you know, all of them. Now, fun thing, I wanted to do this voiceover like, I don't know, like an hour ago already. So I was opening my uh, Adobe Premiere in which I edit everything. And I was like, hmm, why do I only have 10 minutes of footage? This is weird. I mean, I know I'm a fast builder, but I'm nowhere near this fast. So I checked out the entire footage. Turns out that I only built the outside of the home and not the interior. So all I did was built a shell, the floor plan and the landscaping, and that was it. And I was so confused, I was like, why did I, why didn't I finish it? Like, that's not for me to not finish a build. Usually when I build, I finish it, like in one session. Sometimes that shows you my builds, but let's not discuss that point right now. So turns out, um, I was thinking back, I was like, how come, how come I didn't finish it? What's wrong with me? Turns out I was actually, um, building this when I got home from work so I was already a bit late and then after that I still had to prepare dinner so I just quit after the interior and I completely forgot with the exterior and I completely forgot that I still had to do the interior of the home so you know there is that <laughs> so then I, I still had to do the interior so I did that like just now I just finished with that so the interior um, it's not as good as it usually is but that you know I wanted to upload this video today so, um, I'm sorry, like one of the bedrooms is a bit empty. It is a two bedroom home, um, because we don't really have a lot of space in the upstairs because I placed the stairs in a weird position. But if I were to place the stairs anywhere else in this home, it would mean that um, the downstairs would have a very weird layout and I didn't want that. So the stairs are there in the corner, which means you have like this weird corridor and then only two bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom. But hey, you know, I can live with that, that's okay. I mean, and if I can live with that, surely you can as well. So this home may not be suitable for a family. I mean, maybe if like parents and one kid, but if you want more children, it is probably not suitable. So in my mind, when I started furnishing this, I actually imagined it to be for like um, two friends that live together. Like, I don't know, um, let's come up with a story. They know each other since high school. Well, primary school, since primary school. And then they went to the same high school, they went to the same college, and one of them studied... What is something you can study in The Sims 4? One of them studied... Teacher, so to be like in the educational sector. I think that's something you can study at university, I never actually played university. And the other one studies architecture. I think that's something you can do as well. I'm not quite sure, don't judge me. And now they live here together and um, they're very, very much workaholic and a bit um, socially awkward. So they don't really have uh, that big of a social life. Ooh, and then one of them also loves gardening, hence why there are so many plants. Yes. Ooh, I should create this sims for the save file. Okay, so I'm going to create this sims as well. Should I do a video of that? I could, I'm not sure. We'll see if I do a video of that because I'm not really good with Cass thinking I could do a video with that. It could be a bonus video for a Tuesday. Hmm. 
I'll think about it. Hopefully I'll remember. Anyway, so that is the story of the Sims that are going to live here. And as you can see me doing right now, we are giving all the bedrooms a color, which I like to do first. Just give everything a color and then I can work in sections. So we're gonna have a pinkish, peaches color bedroom and then a yellow one. And I do that very often lately, but I just love the yellow one. I can't help it. I mean, I love the yellow color. But before we do anything else, we are going to do the landscaping. And I did get the um, organized debug uh, menu mod. That was a mouthful. So there's this mod called um, Better Build and Buy. It is by Taxi Max, I believe. I'll link it uh, in the disc. I'll link it in the description, you can download it and check it out. So what that mod does, it actually makes sure that you can find all the debug objects by just um, searching for them, so they all named them all and they put them in categories. And I am so happy with it, so I finally don't have to go looking through the entire debug menu. The only downside is that the game thinks it's CC, so when I upload the home to the gallery I have to disable the mod first, restart the game, and then the game will be like, ooh, no longer CC anymore. Which is kind of weird, but you know, um, the things are what they are, it is what it is. Doesn't really matter. So that's the only thing you need to remember. And I absolutely love it, I can finally use so many debug items that I could never actually find. And now I can just search for them. For instance, if I want some uh, tall grass, I just type in grass and then all the types of grass come up. I love it, absolutely love it. And part of the debug menu, um, I why I love it more. That wasn't even a sentence, why I love it too. Why I love it as well. We're gonna go with as well. Um, it's because most of the debug objects are free. Especially in the landscaping. So, this home is particularly cheap because the landscaping is mostly debug. And that is free or it costs like very little simoleons. So, huzzah for me. You know, and I also found all these new little bushes that we are placing now. And they're a little bit wild, but I felt like it could fit with the aesthetic of the fence as well. Because there's like plants wiggled around the fence. So, you know, I actually really like it. And also I remember to put a home on a foundation this time. Ha ha ha. I believe that was the first time in a very long time that I actually remembered to put a foundation on one of my homes because I usually forget it. But hey, what you gonna do? And at first, like, we're gonna have these brown stairs. Um, I didn't like that too much because everything else is white, so we're gonna change it up to white. And I am probably gonna, like, expand my brand to not build um, white suburban homes anymore because they are they always have a white trim, they always have white pillars. That's like all the same, so... We're gonna need to change that up sometime. But we'll see if I get inspiration enough. I do, for Wednesday, I have this amazing idea of a um, Oasis Springs home. And I think that will not be a, uh, a suburban home. Well, probably will be a suburban home. But, you know, it won't be white, I think. It probably st will be still white. Oh well. So, while this goes on in the, in the background, like, I don't really have to comment on it because, you know, it speaks for itself. I'm just gonna ramble on about my life and hopefully you guys find that interesting. So, um, I recently renewed my Disney Plus account for a year this time because um, I'm gonna hate myself for saying this, like, I've always despised Star Wars, but since the Sims 4 pack came out and I have no clue what's happening, I feel like I need to know what's happening. I have this urge of knowledge and I want to know what's happening and I want to know what is the First Order, what is the Resistance, like obviously I know the Resistance, but I want to know who all the characters are, what the objects are, so I'm, unfortunately I'm going to have to rewatch Star Wars. Not that keen about it. Um, I'm mostly worried that I might actually like it and I have an, then developed a new obsession which I kind of don't need because I already have too many obsessions with um, TV, movies, shows, whatever so don't really need it so it is quite a commitment. Also obviously I have a Netflix and I recently uh, re-watched Friends completely, I finished that two days ago yesterday and then you need to figure out what show you're gonna watch now. now it can't just be me but it is so 
darn difficult for me to choose a show that I want to watch because it's a whole commitment. Like, I'm not just gonna watch a show for one season or a few episodes if I don't like it. Even if I don't like it, I have this compulsion to re-watch it. Well, not re-watch it, like continue watching it, even though when it sucks. I physically can't stop a show just mid-season, I can't do that. It stresses me out, so I, if I watch it, I have to continue watching it and I have to finish it, so... Unfortunately, that means that I have watched some shows that are completely awful and still I had to finish watching. Luckily, those are those are one of those uh, TV shows that you will have just um, on in the background while you actually do other things. So, you know, that's good while you play Overwatch or The Sims or Planet Zoo or whatever. So, I started... It's still my, I have this giant list on Netflix with all the things that I want to watch and The Vampire Diaries was in there and I remember I started watching The Vampire Diaries when I was 15, 14 or 15 and after two episodes I disliked it and I never continued watching it and I still remember that I disliked it so it is on my list on Netflix and I just had this extreme doubt like can I watch it, should I watch it, do I want to watch it, what if I don't like it? Maybe it's gone better with the years because, you know, I'm older and I might have more interest in it because I love the supernatural, absolutely love it. Vampires, werewolves, demons, ghosts, angels, absolutely love it. I should have rewatched Supernatural. Oh well, we'll do that next. So now I um, started with the Vampire Diaries, so... And I actually, I have to say, I don't hate it. It is very... Uh, 2005, I believe it was. It is very, um, very early 2000s. You can just see it on the acting, on the editing, special effects. It's not the best, but you know what? Um, at least the vampires are hot, so we are gonna continue watching it. And if I eventually don't like it, I will just have it on in the background while I build houses in The Sims. That's the solution. Going back to this home, we are now finishing, well, it's not finishing, starting up with the living room. And the living room actually has a door as well to the outside area, so the backyard. And I actually quite like it that it's separated with um, those arches. And with the new update, you can place arches on arches, so you can have like the illusion of a window above your archway. And I absolutely love it. And I'm, lately, I have been totally into uh, interior design and decorating. As you will see for the build on Wednesday, I will go all out. Like, all out. Not on this build, because obviously i um, a bit short on time today. But, you know, whatever, that's fine. But I will go all out on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be one of those homes in Oasis Springs where I never actually built, because I have no desert anywhere near me. I don't live in the desert, I live in the city. And I live close to the sea in the forest no deserts here so i don't really have a lot of inspiration because i really don't know any mediterranean or deserty builds but we're gonna try it and it will probably turn out to be um suburban anyway so you know and in this corner we are building a corner desk i thought it would be fun because i actually i always wanted to have a corner desk where you have like one screen in front of you and one on the desk to the right of you or to the left however your corner is and i absolutely love it and I think that it actually looks really cute the way it turned out. It is fully functional, I have checked it, so don't worry you guys can sim- Don't worry you guys, your sims can use it. I am not doing great with this voiceover today, I'm so sorry. I also have the feeling that my voice is kind of disappearing. So I'm, I'm sorry if my voice just suddenly fades. I really can't help it. I, I just, I can't, I'm sorry. So for this corner we are placing a bookcase, because you know I love my books. And we are placing a fireplace, but not like a traditional one like we had in the living room. But it's the one from Eco Lifestyle, and I believe it runs on stones because there are stones in there. I'm actually not quite sure. And I do this all the time. Whenever I have space left and I don't know what to do with it, I just place a piano there. And I don't actually think a lot of people have a piano in their actual home. At least I don't. I mean, I have a lot, my dad has an electric piano, so keyboard. My dad, has a, my dad has a keyboard, but that's about it. 
I know one of my friends in high school, um, he lived in this very big fancy home and I got there, uh, he had like this massive swimming pool in his backyard as well. So we were all extremely jealous about that. And then we went um, to a party at his place and he had, like you could use the swimming pool. But when you enter in the home, there actually was this giant piano. And I was like, man, you have a grand piano in your living room. That is so amazing. It was so cool. It was absolutely amazing. The pool was amazing too, but you know, I was more excited about the piano because I love music and I love musical instruments. Hence why I also play a lot of instruments. I'm a very musical, musical person, musician. I have great music skills. Today, unfortunately, I do not have great English skills. Man, my English sucks today. What is wrong with me? I am so sorry. I literally don't know what's up. So we are going, gonna do that two bedrooms now. I cut the bathrooms out because you know, um, my bathrooms are standards anyways. And it's not really fun to watch someone decorate a bathroom. At least that's my opinion about it. So I usually cut them out of the build, but you know, whatever. And this bedroom, it looked very large, but then when I was decorating it, it was actually um, not as large as I would want it to be. And I also didn't want it to be very cramped. So we are just gonna leave it with that. And then we are gonna do the second bedroom. And this one is actually a bit bigger. And initially I was thinking, ooh, we could have like a small family. So this would be the master bedroom. The other one could be the kid bedroom. And then I changed my mind and they're actually gonna be living two friends here and one studied architecture and the other studied the educational field. See, I remembered. I am gonna make those sims. That could be really fun to create them. They could be so different and I could like, um, oh, I could have sims for my save file finally. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm really gonna do it. Like I've said it like five times already this video, but I'm really gonna do it. I also lately have the tendency to um, cramp up every single room with a guitar, electric or acoustic. That's probably because I bought a electric guitar. I love guitar. I've been playing guitar ever since I was 11. So I have like this tiny kid guitar. It was my first guitar and I love it and I'm never doing it away. And actually, um, I have very, very tiny hands, so I can still play on it. Like I have, a, whenever I have to buy gloves, I have to buy like a kid size hands. But when I was going on my biking holiday in Germany last summer, um, I actually need to have like some gloves and I had bought a uh, an L because I didn't really know what size gloves and how that worked. Turns out that was way too big, so I had to go to the store and um, actually the XS only fitted me. Anyways guys, we are going into the screenshots right now, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I will hope to see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys!